Hey guys, this is Crypto Coin Investor. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the majors which are going to outperform Ethereum in the coming weeks. So, why Ethereum? As you might have seen, the Ethereum has been outperforming a majority of altcoins, uh, especially the majors from the past six to seven weeks. You can see that in this chart, for example, this is the Litecoin Ethereum chart from the Binance. And as you can see from the past, ever since I would say since April, the Litecoin has been underperforming against the Ethereum. However, for the first time in a long time, we have flipped to the green side on the MACD. And the Litecoin is also showing, you know, signs of a U-shape or V-shape recovery. This means that it is better to hold these majors instead of ethereum right now so if you are in ethereum it is time to sell some of that ethereum off for some other altcoins which are definitely going to outperform the ethereum so you have to go for those altcoins who are in active development not the dead shit coins i'm talking about the coins which are in active development and this includes the likes of litecoin which has a privacy layer coming up they are going to soon implement the mimble wimble privacy layer on the top of Litecoin blockchain which is going to provide some sort of optional privacy just like Zcash not the kind of permanent privacy like you know which you find on Monero but something like the likes of Pivx and Z, uh, Zcoin and Zcash you know these coins provide optional privacy so you can send your transactions normally or you can enable privacy so this is the Litecoin chart and I've sold some of my Ethereum at 0.13 something. I bought some of the Ethereum at 0.135, I would say, somewhere around here. And I'm already in some profit. As you can see, it's at 0.153. And I'll be taking profits at these very levels at 0 0.18, 0 0.22, and 0.26. And you can see that in other charts as well. For example, the Ethereum Classic and Ethereum chart. Uh, you can see that we are now settling down in this very area. You can also see the, on the MACD the sellers are running out of steam here. And we have some bullish things planned for the Ethereum Classic as well. Um, the Ethereum Classic team recently announced that they are going to consider using ASIC miners. So you got to have some fundamental news behind, uh, you know, so that there is a reason that the coin may pump and the people may join the party. So as you can see that the Ethereum Classic as well is just like Litecoin. It is underperforming against Ethereum since month of May. So the same goes for Stellar Lumens and Ethereum chart. I'm not saying that you should you should trade your uh, Ethereum for Stellar Lumens. Uh, what I'm saying is it is better to keep an eye on these coins because uh, yes, Ethereum is doing well. For the time being and it looks great on the weekly as well as on the monthly view but these coins coins like stellar lumens litecoin they have suffered a lot against ethereum the stellar lumens especially i mean we reached 0.00042 nearly on the weekly chart but you know what happened after that i mean uh we reached around 0.0015 on binance that was a vic i won't count it but yes, we are right now at 0.006. I bought some at 0.0027 and 0.00025. I like to trade my Ethereum for some altcoins so that I can increase my Ethereum. My motto is to have as much Bitcoin and Ethereum. Because these two, honestly speaking, are the two top tier projects in the crypto world. Stellium is also a great project. And it has suffered a lot due to their recent Ethereum rally. And I think... We are going to see some relief and these coins are going to gain more against ethereum uh, the ethereum has gone up a lot i mean we were in this consolidation range from a long time you can see that here between the 0 0.22 and 0 0.016 now we are approaching this resistance range marked here which is 0 0.039 and you can see that on see that on the Ichimoku cloud that we are above the uh, 0.031, uh, which is now acting as support as well as 0.089. So we may see a wick down to these two levels, 
and when this happens the other major the major oral coin the coins with the high market cap these coins are going to go up they're going to uh, outperform ethereum in terms of value so i have my money on the litecoin ethereum classic stellumens so i am now planning to buy the dip of ethereum at 0 0.031 and 0 0.089 and we have our moving average let me change the color of it because i can barely see it you can see that here we have the our moving average moving average is currently at 0 0.027 so that doesn't in inspire that doesn't give us a lot of uh, confidence that normally this moving average acts as support and you can see that in the past as well this, the ethereum has a tendency in fact all coins have this tendency to come back and touch this 20 day moving average before going up again so i am expecting the ethereum to come down to at least this level by the time it comes down here this moving average would have also climbed around this very level so i am expecting ethereum to touch the 0 0.029 range before moving to the upside and when uh, until the time it does that i expect other major altcoins to surpass ethereum in terms of value i'm not saying ethereum won't go down ethereum will go down considerably in terms of dollars i am saying it, it is just going to underperform against a majority of altcoins so keep an eye on the these majors and i'm expecting them to recover and regain their levels which they had uh, you know prior to 27th april around around this area so i'm expecting litecoin to move to at least 0 0.022 probably 0 0.026 which is the major area of resistance for the litecoin so that's all about it um hope you like this video and stay subscribed for more cryptocurrency ic news and five analysis bye, -bye.